Across the world, plants are silently finding their way into spaces where they don't belong. These intruders, called invasive species, have extraordinary powers. Some are destroying the very land under our feet, taking the place of local plants. They are so widely spread and easily found that they may even have crept into your own garden. Covered by lush vegetation, the Mediterranean coast is a green paradise, threatened by many invasive plants. The hot and hot fig is one of them. Carpobrotus taxons are crassulescent plants, which creep or hang and produce numerous ramets. That is, they form several branches. There are two intrusive taxons in the Mediterranean basin, Carpobrotus edulis with yellow flowers and Carpobrotus acinociformis with pink flowers. Two of the taxons from South Africa are particularly intrusive in the Mediterranean basin. We can find them on the continental coast, but also on the islands. On the other hand, as these two plants suffer from frost, we will never find them inland. Both taxons are invasive for several reasons. The first is the enemy release hypothesis. According to this hypothesis, taxons were introduced into new habitats without their associated pathogens. The second reason is clonal growth. Taxons are able to spread up to 1.70 meters a year. The third reason concerns their reproduction. Their sexual flexibility is very important. The fourth and last reason concerns the endozoarchers' dispersal of fruits and seeds. That is, rats or rabbits consume fruits or seeds and then scatter them. There is also a secondary dispersal by ants which allows the hot and hot fig to colonize new environments. But what do people think about it? Have you heard about the hot and hot fig? On pense la connaître, oui. C'est une plante. What kind of plant do you think it is? C'est une plante grasse. Je crois que c'est une plante méditerranéenne. Elle vit, euh, elle vit au bord des mers. Euh, oui, c'est une plante, une plante grasse. Hein. Voilà. Mais, euh, Do you like this plant? Oui, c'est joli. Ouais. Je sais pas si c'est fleuri, mais c'est joli. Ouais. Euh, je la trouve euh, très jolie, surtout la floraison. quoi. C'est vraiment magnifique. C'est très joli, justement. Elle, elle, donne, elle fait des fleurs. Et c'est très joli à voir. C'est mieux que de voir euh, des... So, you like it a lot, don't you? J'adore. Do you know that it has a negative impact on the Mediterranean area? Ah non, pas du tout. Absolument, oui. C'est pour ça que nous, chez nous, nous l'avons mis dans un bac. Comme ça, elle ne peut pas en sortir. Non, je ne savais pas du tout. Mais c'est vrai que sur le littoral, on en voit beaucoup. Many plants, like the hot and hot fig, were introduced for landscaping so that they are available in many garden centers. Unfortunately, Home gardeners do not know they should take precaution measures. This is why plants often escape their gardens and invade natural areas. Do you know that it's an invasive plant? It's not really invasive. It's not a plant that grows quickly, that invades the whole garden, so it's not invasive. Over the years, it may be invasive, but over one year, it cannot extend enormously. It takes a decade to have a beautiful plant. I don't recommend it more than other plants. People like it because it requires little maintenance. Nevertheless, a great part of the Mediterranean coast is currently threatened by the hot and hot fig. That is the case on several islands in the air where the covered surface can reach 40 to 80 percent. Il y a des impacts particulièrement importants sur le littoral et les îles de Méditerranée. The impact of the hot and hot fig is important on the Mediterranean coast and the islands. It consists of several points. First of all, there is an impact on the ecosystem biodiversity. The local vegetable species decrease by about 30 to 40 percent. For example, about 30 species are directly threatened by the hot and hot fig on the coast of Provence. Il y a après des, des modifications dans le fonctionnement. Moreover, the hot and hot fig modifies the dynamics of the ecosystems and how they work. 
For example, the dynamics of the nutrients changes and leads to soil acidification and a decrease in local plant biomass and productivity. Therefore, the biodiversity, as well as the structure and the equilibrium of the Mediterranean ecosystem, will eventually lose their complexity. But how can we prevent the spreading of the hot and hot fig? We are now on the island of Porkhol, a place totally invaded by the hot and hot fig. It was introduced for ornamental purposes and to consolidate military constructions. Until now, the plant has almost completely invaded the coast of Freer Islands and also a great part of the Mediterranean coast. The hot and hot fig forms very important seed banks and invades a variety of places like sandy places or high cliffs. All this is obviously done to the detriment of the local and protected flora. On Porquerolles, about 10 years ago, we started the eradication of the hot and hot fig. In other protected sites, we covered it with tarpaulin or used chemical treatments. In fact, the simplest and the most effective method is manual approaching. The hot and hot fig is lifted, then it is put into a heap. From these heaps, some branches may sprout, and it will be necessary to eradicate them too. We must make a monitoring over four or five years because of the significant amount of seed bank in the soil. Without monitoring, ten years later, we return to the initial state. We began the eradication of the hot and hot fig in the areas which were most biologically interesting, like coastal sand areas, small muddy and rocky zones. We have now targeted the cliffs, which are totally inaccessible and where the vegetal communities are less interesting. Erosion may be important after uprooting. If there are no other plants around to recolonize the space and stabilize the soil, the hot and hot fig is uprooted during several years. Here, we have chosen not to eradicate the hot and hot fig totally so that the dead plant still acts as a barrier against erosion during the rain, while the hot and hot fig, which is not dead, acts as a barrier against erosion from the sea. What you see in these coastal rocks is rather eloquent. On the left, you have an important patch of hot and hot figs. On these rocks, the hot and hot fig and some local plants are the only ones left trying to survive. Next, on the right, you can see a grey large patch which corresponds to hot and hot figs, which were uprooted almost six months ago. And on the extreme right, we can see the coastal scrubland. We hope this scrubland will recognize the environment. Indeed, the Mediterranean scrubland is composed of indigenous plants like mastic tree, Phoenician junipers, South Aparilla, and so on. Obviously, when a manager of a natural area decides to eliminate plants such as mimosa, eucalypt, or the hot and hot fig, it can be sometimes wrongly perceived by people who are attached to these plants because they are ornamental and considered as beautiful. But we mustn't forget that these plants are introduced and intrusive. So we try to explain to the pupils when we go to the countryside and to the adults of Port Kroll and Port Cross and to tourists as well that although these plants are attractive, they raise big problems. We communicate through interventions, projections or by handing out brochures. On the northern coast of Pokerol, the hot and hot fig has almost been eradicated, which implies a lot of work and great expenses. The uprooting and the transport of Carpoprotus costed more than 2,800 euros for approximately 3 hectares. There is a growing concern among plant ecologists about invasive species. Some of them say, don't plant a pest, give them an inch and they'll take an acre. There are scientists, however, who do not share this radical point of view. Invasive species like the hot and hot fig 
transform the Mediterranean ecosystem, homogenize the landscape and threaten the biodiversity. From home gardeners to land managers to nurseries, growers and landscape professionals, everyone has a role to play in order to prevent their introduction. When buying invasive plants, people should receive information about replacement varieties or at least be advised to grow them in an enclosed garden. It would be a good idea to educate children in this spirit and to raise awareness among people. With some perseverance, we can get rid of this plant. The island of Minorca is an example where Carbobrotus has been totally eradicated and where endemic plants recolonize the areas. Invasive plants still look quite attractive in our gardens, but we may hope that one day they will be totally uprooted from people's mentalities. Plante invasive, plante invasive, moi une plante invasive, n'importe quoi. Préfère m'en aller puisque c'est ça.